Hi, this is Quantum Art. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how you can compute complicated indicators uh, on higher time frames. So what I mean by that is, for example, here I have Ethereum USD pair on our chart, and I have MACD indicator. So, for example, I want to compute my MACD indicator on, um, let's say, four-hour chart, and then just print it on my one-hour chart. So, for example, I think that this can be useful. So how can I do this? So here I have the code for my um, indicator. It's pretty simple, but I think it will allow me to show you the concept, how you can uh, do that. So um, uh, your first guess is probably to get to replace our source of uh, indicator calculations with variable from a higher time frame. So let's try to do that. So first, we will um, go and compute security function. I will use um, sing info ticket to uh, get my current uh, symbol. Then I will specify that I want to uh, get data from yeah, a set uh, two hours, uh, four hours time frame, and that's it actually. So now let's uh, save it and see if it works. So you can see that it changed, but it actually uh, seems wrong. Problem is that um, I expect for uh, to, to, to get um, MACD from four hour time frame and this MACD should have like four four bars in a row have the same values but here you can see that all values are different so definitely it doesn't work correctly but why is this happening so it's happening is because of this SMA uh, functions so problem is that uh, security function actually correctly gets us data from higher time frame but when we smooth these variables, um, uh, we kind of get wrong values. So what we need to do is we need to pass entire MACD calculations to higher time frame, calculate it there, and then just display on our current time frame. So that's it. So how can we do this? So first of all, we need to create a function that actually um, will output values we need to plot. So first we need to see what values do we need to plot. So here we have only three variables. So uh, signal, uh, MACD and hist um, variables. And as you can see here, his histogram um, variable is pretty simple. So it's calculated as just difference between MACD and signal. And we, we have no, no SMAs or something like that, nothing complicated. So actually I can, uh, for simplicity, I can keep it on current time frame and this will work. So here the code I need to pass uh, to my function. So I will um, cut this code. I will create a function. Uh, I will call it my MACD function. And um, this function will uh, have this code. And next is the question, what do you need to output from your function? So as I said, we need these two variables, so MACD and signal. So in usual, uh, script you can output your variables um, few variables this way just uh, kind of enclose this in the brackets and after that you can use this to output multiple variables from functions but problem is that these functions won't work in our security function and this is a bit of a problem so how we can do this so uh, yeah okay so I remember something we need to uh, add SRC uh, variable and it will be equal to close so yeah so uh, how you can fix this how you can work with it if you need to put two variables from the same function in uh, security well it's quite simple but you need to create actually two uh, functions so so you need to create a function for every parameter you want to compute on higher time frame so that's it so I'll call this MACD1 uh, my MACD2 and from this I will uh, for example how to put just MACD and from the bottom one, I will output signal. So now let's compute it. Uh, so I will, uh, so my MACD will be a function. So just copy the function, uh, insert in here in expression, and the same for a signal, and a function will be my MACD2. So I think that's it. Let's try to save it and see if it works. So as you can see now, uh, it seems uh, to have like more sense. 
in terms of we have your, your, your values actually have four same values in a row and uh, yeah I think it's it's correct we have a bit mess here because of uh, coloring uh, because you know it depend on previous value and this way it probably it's not um, very uh, good here but I think values are correct colors are not so what you can do actually you can go and pass this function also uh, to, uh, to to create another function for the color and after that you can color it based on this result but in general a values I think is the same so I think um, it, it, it was helpful for you so this is a concept you have complicated indicator you enclose it into a function you create the same kind of you have like copies of this function just outputting all values you need to have enough that you just use it to plot it so i think that's all for this video thank you for watching bye